Rosie. <laughs> After my mum died, I saw photographs in a different light because they are your only memories of that person. You can be more creative, um, you can produce a piece of art for the parents, and that really appeals to me. I mostly do baby photography, so whether that be newborns, um, older babies, um, I get a lot of people coming to me when the baby's about four months old. Over 10 years ago, um, I started off doing landscape photography um, and gradually all my friends started having babies and I was encouraged to photograph them. And then I realized that with the older children, I could take them outside and do the, and use my skills as the landscape photographer, but with children in the photograph as well. I like to find out what age the baby is and what stuff they're doing, what they're happy to do, um, what the parents are expecting. Most people that come to me probably haven't had photographs done before, so they don't really know what to expect. The window to do a shoot with a young baby can be quite small. They might only last 10 minutes, they might last 20 minutes. So it really is a case of working out if they're ready to go and then cracking on with it. It's nice to get a range of expressions in the first session. Most babies won't smile continually anyway, um, so I have to manage the parents' expectations. And also parents will get the best smiles um, when they're... So I like them next to me to try and achieve that for them. I'm known for capturing natural shots of children but gradually over time I've just become more and more, you know, known for my baby photography. So that's fine. That's what I love doing. I get to have cuddles with babies all the time. <laughs>